Education Queensland has ruled out compulsory swimming lessons in primary schools despite repeated calls from lifesavers. The Royal Lifesaving Association has started a petition because too many children drown. Sarah Best has more. Rory Dingle is three and a half and learning how to swim early. We've got about six pools in our street now and he's in and out of people's houses and in and out of our neighbour's yards and things like that. And so for us, it was a, a big safety decision. A decision lifesavers want to make compulsory in primary schools. By having it in the national curriculum, having benchmarks that children have to achieve, including water safety in both theory and practice, will be a big benefit to all all children. One in five primary school students can't swim 50 metres or even float for two minutes, putting them at risk later in life. As they um, reach those teenage years, they're not being supervised by their parents. They're going into different aquatic environments, taking risks, following um, their friends, um, succumbing to peer pressure, and as a result, drownings do occur. 75 people died last financial year. The majority were young men. Well, they only have swimming lessons for about 15 weeks of the year. Now that is not enough. Royal Lifesavers say the lessons shouldn't just include swimming, but diving for weights, swimming with clothes and CPR. They've started a petition online, but only 207 Queensland schools have a pool and... If these lessons are to occur, they need to occur in a safe environment, so it needs to be looked at carefully in terms of can these lessons be supervised and paid for. Sarah Best, 10 News.